Greetings. In this tutorial, we are excited to show you what's new in FL Studio 20.5. First up, Flex. Flex is free for all FL Studio editions. Let's check it. Nice! We've designed Flex to give you instant access to production ready sounds. At launch, the free packs include Arc Sun Cityscape, Essential Pianos, Essential Strings, Synth Pluck, Tuned 808 Bass, and Olbade Compendium. For purchase, includes Synthesizer Science and Black Octopus Pandora. And there'll be lots of free and for purchase packs in future. Notice the arrow shows the Pandora pack is loaded. And the selected preset is arrowed in the presets list. Use the library manager to favourite sounds. Click the star icon to add or remove. In the favourites category, right click and deselect favourite to remove it. You can find sounds with tags. If I select bases, then Arc Sun Cityscape, I see all the bass sounds tagged in that pack. The wireframe tags show others the sound designer associated with the patch. Search by tags in individual packs or all packs. Search keywords in preset names too. The recent category shows all sounds you've played in the current session. If you see this icon, it means a pack update is available for download. And here Flex simplifies content management. All packs are automatically saved to the FL Studio user data folder under Flex Packs. No need to leave the plugin to download or even purchase packs. Flex is preset focused so you can concentrate on composing music rather than getting stuck in a sound design loop. But there's still plenty of creative control. There's a set of carefully chosen parameters, each with a purpose, minimizing dead tweaks. On the right, we have analysis to visualize sounds. Click the icons to change the mode. You can choose oscilloscope. Right click the icon to pinch view on or off. A spectrograph showing frequencies over time. A vector scope to visualize the stereo content. frequency histogram. Nice. Macros are chosen by the sound designer and change depending on the patch. Each macro will modify the sound in musically creative ways. Definitely automate these in your project. P 
pitch modifies the pitch. Workflow tweaks include clicking the plus and minus buttons for semitones or holding shift plus click for octaves. The filter. This is patch dependent. It may be any one of the filter types shown in the user controllable master filter section. The envelopes are multiplier controls, so you can modify settings relative to the designer's patch. For example, turn the attack up to make anything a pad. Or release down to chop the end. Then comes effects. Notice you can activate and deactivate effects from the header switches. And, as we saw, the master filter has a wide range of modes. Delay is built on Fruity Delay 3, so the controls will be familiar. Reverb is based on the updated Reverb 2, with the new modulation parameter. The limiter is lifted from Harmer and has familiar options also. And finally, a master output level. Notice the lock icons? These allow you to freeze the controls on the selected panel. So if you've tweaked your reverb to perfection, you can lock it. Or lock the ADSR settings as you browse patches to make everything a pad. Finally, the logo bar allows you to change the theme. This is also possible by double-clicking the analysis window. Great, and you get all this free with any edition of FL Studio 20.5 onward. So what else is new in 20.5? In the browser, you can now Alt plus click samples and they will play to the end. Click stop on the transport panel to end playback early. From the view menu, there's a new performance monitor tool. Click to sort the list and find resource heavy plugins. Higher numbers mean higher CPU load. And Patcher gets a CPU tool too. Right click the workspace and select View Performance. The lower left panel shows the totals for Patcher and plugins. On the General Settings tab, you can now directly set default project templates. And there's a new option to reset warning pop ups where you've clicked Don't Show This Again. On the File Settings tab, we've increased the maximum number of backup files. Dropping sound fonts on the channel rack now opens them in direct wave. On macOS, FL Studio can now be used as a VST, the same as Windows, or an AU plugin for hosts that support VST and AU on macOS. Speaking of plugins, plugin updates. The Edison Denoise tool is now available on macOS. Fruity Blood Overdrive has a new vectorized user interface, and it's now a native 64 bit plugin available for both FL Studio Windows and macOS. Wave Traveler I'm just scratching the surface. gets a new vectorial interface too. along with Fruity Scratcher. And both are also available on FL Studio Windows and Mac OS. Wave Shaper gains new quality settings. 
For real-time audio, the HQ switch will now match the HQ render quality settings. And for automation of its controls, the smoothing switch will eliminate zipper noises. Harmless gets a free preset library courtesy of Olbate. And Citrus 2. Happy days. Finally, Z-Game Editor Visualizer has a slew of new effects and controls. You can now add entire Z-Game Editor projects as image sources, you can stream online videos, Plus, there's a new online image and video search option powered by Pexels.com. Cool. And with that, we hope you enjoy FL Studio 20.5 just as much as we love your lifetime free updates.